This is Liam. He is a ferocious, unbeatable and awe-inspiring fast bowler. Except when he's not. Good job we're here to help him out. To put it politely, we'd say he was bowling a tad too short and a tad too slow. In an ideal world, the ball would rise to the top of the stump, causing maximum uncertainty for the batsman. By grossly oversimplifying the bounce of the ball, pretending the lumpy earth was in fact a flat wicket and the seam had no effect at all, we can estimate the perfect place to bowl. We do this by measuring the height of off stump, the height of the release and the distance between the crease and the stumps. With a release height of 194cm, stump height of 73cm and here for illustration purposes, a length of 12m, we can form two mathematically similar triangles with this hypothetically. Very, Very hypothetically. hypothetically. Take the ball on a journey from Liam's hand to the elusive offside bail. The scale factor for the height is 2.66. The scale factor for the length must therefore be the same, with the two values adding to make 12 metres. The solution for this is to split the length into 872 centimetres and 328 centimetres, rounded. Let's see what happens when he makes this adjustment. Incredible improvement! He might just have the next James Anderson hiding somewhere in him yet, if he bothers to pick up the pace. We have no speed gun to check his current delivery speed, or we have a lab coats and tape measure, but that's all we need. We're measuring the distance from the crease to the pitch, 8.6 metres, he's getting more consistent. And remembering he releases at a height of 194 centimetres, we work out the distance travelled is the square root of 860 squared plus 194 squared. Thank you, Pythagoras. 881.6 centimetres. Considering this took the ball 0.53 seconds, it must have been travelling at 36 miles per hour. That's approximately the same speed as a moose. So there you are. By the magic of maths, we have radically transformed Liam's fast bowling prospects. Maybe. You're welcome, Liam. See you at the ashes.